We're talking to Eva on her electro cat. This is an electric motorcycle that she made herself. Tell us a little bit about how this came about. Just looking at it here. How did your electric motorcycle come about? Well, there are many reasons. First off, I grew up in a family of engineers and uh, bikers, and my dad was a champion rider and a champion motorcycle designer in the 60s, and we liked him. So, and I wanted to build an electric motorcycle because everybody said it couldn't be done. So that's why I had to do it. But they and said you couldn't do it because you were a woman? No, no, it just, I mean, just because the technology wasn't there. It's the first problem with the batteries, and it would be slow, and it just wouldn't work out. So, just to prove that people were wrong, I, of course, had to build a motorcycle. And you want to take this bike up uh, Pikes Peak in September, is that right? It's in June. In June? It's uh, the June Oh, September is your other uh, assault. We'll get yes. to that in a second. Uh, June 27th is the legendary Pikes Peak International Hill Club. And for the first year in the 88th year history of the race, electric motorcycles are allowed. And, of course, I have to be there. And I'm hoping to be the first one up the peak. Yeah, the first electric motorcycle on the on the peak. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. And actually, if the weather is nice tomorrow, I'm going for the very first test ride. And you have a top speed of about 100 miles in this motorcycle, maybe a 60-mile cruising range. You started with an Italian uh, internal combustion bike. That's correct. It was in a previous life. It was a Kajiva Reccia, which is an Italian 125 two-stroke. Now you're a graduate student at the University of Denver, That's correct. and what you're doing in September is something entirely different. Yeah. You're going to ascend or go to Bonneville and try for the land speed record, is it, and that's for all motorcycles, right? Yeah. You're going to assault the current uh, record with a internal combustion engine. Yeah, that will probably take another year or two, but this year I'm going for the electric motorcycle record, which is only 176 miles per hour, so it should hopefully be pretty easy thing to do. <laughs> pretty easy. Well, you eventually want to go 400 miles an hour. That's, that's the ultimate goal, because nobody has ever done it before in a motorcycle. We actually have over here, is the, well, maybe you can walk over here. This is the frame of the uh, Bonneville motorcycle, which is called the Kilojoule. Tell us about the specs of, of this particular bike. Yeah, as you see, at the moment, it's, it's still only a, a frame or rolling chassis. Uh -huh. But when finished, it's going to look, I'll show you, it's going to look like this, like an airplane without wings. It'll be 18 feet long. It's going to be 18 feet long, and uh, it's going to have, of course, a big battery and probably two motors. And starting up this year, probably around 250 horsepower. That should take us definitely enough power to go to an miles per hour. For 400 miles per hour, that will take somewhere in the range of 500 miles per hour. And this is where you sit. This is the passenger compartment up front here. Yeah, you can even not the passenger, more the driver's <laughs> compartment. And it's a uh, chrome molly steel frame. You and your husband built this. Uh, we built it with help of friends. Uh, all, all this is, even if I'm the front figure, it's all the teamwork. I mean, you can't do, you can't be professional everything. Uh, so we brought in a couple of friends who build motorcycle frames as their hobby, and they help us to build this. Wow. So you're going to have a busy summer. I am going to have a, a very busy and very, very fun summer. Where, sure. where, where do people visit you on the web if they want to learn more about what they you're doing? They can go, if they manage to spell my name, they can go to <laughs> evahakanson.com. Okay, great. Thank you.